Okay, hi everybody. So this is, um, it's actually my second art journal that I have started. But, um, Crafter GM, who's Gloria, and she has <clears throat> decided to do a little thing between us. And anybody can join if they want. And like each week, um, th they want to get their creative juices flowing and do more mixed media. And so we're going to make a call like each week a person makes a call on what you need to use to create your pages and we all have our own little journals and then submit a video and show how you used you know um, the products that you used so that we can all learn and see different effects you know from each other so anyways if you want to play along go ahead and post a video um, you can link it to Gloria's channel, Crafter GM, or mine, or Eileen, who is the Little Crafter Show, and um, play along with us. It'll be fun. So anyways, this week's challenge, the call out was, um, they made me go first, and I said napkins and embossing powder and sprays. So this is the two pages that I created. Um, I like how they turned out. They're really bright and colorful. When I art journal, I have no plan. I just start laying stuff down. So I pull out some pretty napkins that I like. Well, first of all, I had yellow paint on my desk that I used in another project, and I didn't want to waste it, so I smeared it all over this page, and then I just started creating from there. That's usually how I roll. Um, actually, the yellow paint was from this project. <laughs> I, this is a canvas that I created yesterday, too. And it's mixed media canvas. I am going to be putting this one up in my Etsy store um, for sale. So if you're interested, you can message me beforehand or check it out on my Etsy store, which is all my goodies on Etsy.com. But anyways, back to this. So there's my pieces of napkin. I just shredded them, ripped them, mosh podged them on the yellow after I painted the page yellow. And I don't. I just do it randomly. I don't put the whole, I just rip it and place it. I don't even think where I'm placing it. And then this is another napkin that I placed on top of it, which I liked, which this is the napkin. So it looks really different once I laid it down. You can see it's like this vase or urn or whatever. So I just ripped around the edges and mosh podge that down. Um, I cut out a butterfly. Around the edging is where I did some gold embossing, just to kind of hide my edges. Nothing in a stamp or anything. I just kind of threw it down. Um, these flowers, I just fussy cut it out and randomly glued them all around. And I left pieces of my, I sponge painted pink on top of my yellow with craft paint. And then there's a piece of flower napkin so it looks like there's flowers coming out. Um, the flowers were from this pink armadillo stack. Old, old paper, but you can see. So I use that. That's from Hobby Lobby. So that's that page. And then um, I'll kind of just zoom in a little so you can kind of see. And then those words living, I cut out of the title of, I think it was a Martha Stewart magazine. And I just fussy cutted those out and matte finished them on with the golden. I used heavy matte gel because I'm out of the other stuff. But you can use Mosh Podge or glue them down. It, there is no right or wrong. So on this page was where I really started with the yellow. And I didn't want to cover it up because I really liked it. I thought it was really bright. And then um, I fussy cut. I rubber stitch. Here's more of my embossing powders. A different technique. And I just, I have these. So I put living to create. And then on the bottom that was um, part of the title of that living and I just cut out things we love because we love to create um this is another napkin here and I just kind of ripped it and I ripped it there and glued it down and then I used another piece of that napkin on the other side over here I love that butterfly I just think that is so pretty and vibrant and like you see my napkin ripped when I was putting it I like that I like that it pokes through and I should have put a border around this page, but I didn't. It's my book. I can do whatever I want. So there's my letters. And what I did was I took just pieces of scrap paper from this stack and I stamped on them with 
these are really old sponge letters that I have. I have a whole set and I um, stamped them on the paper and embossed with this Zing copper embossing powder which is the same as I did over there. So that's my embossing, my napkin, and then sprays. I used, if you can see these little splotches, I love these daubers, these starburst daubers with the, um, they call it the, not the baldy one, but the fuzzy one. And I just love to get it juicy and then I just splotch it down and it splatters like that. And then I just wiped it off. So it kind of took off some of the paint, left a shimmer, but yet looks like, looks like an explosion. And then this is the piece of napkin left over from that flower. So I just glued, and you can totally see through the white, but so it just looks like it's the flower. So I love it. And then I fussy cut another flower out of the napkin. There's another piece. You can see my pink sponge paint coming through. So everything looks transparent. So that is it. There are my three things. Can't wait to see what the other girls call out. I pretty much use everything in my art drilling pages all the time. Anyways, I usually have a little bit of everything, so... But, so that's that. I hope you like my little canvas too. I'll flip through. I just bought this new journal, so these are some other pages that I created. This is using napkins too and paint. I didn't, I just got the background on it. I want to draw something on there, but I had to wait for it to dry. And then there's the other side. So it's just random laying things down. There's that page. I kind of doodled all over. Little kitty looking at my bird in the cage and then I just love to play in these books it doesn't there's no right or wrong I'm not finished with this I want to add something up here but see that's the thing I can go back and that was like the first page I did you can see my little woman in there my butterflies those are acetate butterflies I think from Kane Company I kind of doodled around the edges so that's that, but this is the page that I created. Um, I think maybe I'll do a video on how to do the napkins because I know um, the girls were having problems saying they didn't like using them and they were having trouble. So maybe I'll do a tutorial to show you really how easy it is. Um, I don't know if it'll get out today, but I hope you like it. I hope this inspires you. Come play along with us. Um, it's your own book. You can. You don't even have to do... You know what I did? If you don't have a journal, I learned this from thing. Cut up your cereal boxes, put gesso, or just cover them with paint. And you can see through, and that adds to the artwork. And then just start creating on that. And then you can bind or clip them together, and voila, use your chipboard, recycle. But look how cool you can see through the gesso or the paints. And just start creating and pasting things down, collage-like. So you don't have to go out and buy an art journal. I just I have that, and I have done... Some of those um, cardboard pieces. And then you can actually cut them up and make cards too. So anyways, there are so many tutorials out there on um, art journaling. The fabulous, fabulous. I've learned from them all. So you can too. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye. Don't forget, stop over to my Etsy store. And I'll, oh, remember, I'm having a giveaway. It ends June 9th. So if you missed the video, because I know YouTube's funny now, you're not catching all the videos, go back to my last video um, and check out the giveaway that I'm doing. And there's some goodies in there. And then there's my little canvas. She's cute for a little girl's room or something. I love it. All right. There's my artwork from yesterday. Take care, everybody. Bye.